It's finally race week in Miami, and it feels like Formula One has officially gone mainstream in the United States. They've been talking about a race in Miami for nearly a decade, but last year, they signed a 10-year deal with Formula One to hold the race outside Hard Rock Stadium for the next 10 years. And this week, it's finally happening. The demand has been insane, and it should be epic. The track has probably the best hospitality setup of any track on the F1 calendar. It includes a man-made marina with 10 yachts, a beach with bottle service, and several different VIP lounges with premium food and beverages. And the stars will be out in full force also. LeBron James, Tom Brady, Michael Jordan, David Beckham, Serena, and Venus Williams, and others will all reportedly be in attendance. And the cheapest ticket to get a seat is nearly $1,000. This is obviously an awesome outcome for Miami and the people organizing the race. But I also think it speaks to the incredible job that Liberty Media has done since acquiring Formula One in 2017 for four to $5 billion in cash. They've turned race weekends into full-blown events with concerts, good food, and more. They've made racing more competitive and equal by changing the rules and regulations. And of course, their partnership with Netflix had dramatically increased fan participation both in the United States and North America in general. And the results are obvious. The United States now has three races on the calendar with the addition of Las Vegas starting in 2023. That's more than any other country in the world. And it proves Formula One is here to stay in the United States for good.